Hello, everybody. Think I'm good? Yes? All right. How's everybody doing? Look at this. I'm actually on time for once. That's, uh, that's new. Noise incoming? <laughs> you can't do anything about that intro. It's just so loud. <laughs> Always and forever. Buzz buzz. Why am I getting buzz buzzed? Oh, I see. Unimportant thing. But yes, hello everybody. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hello Orange, hello Bells, hello Avatar, hello Jam Jam. How is everybody doing today? How has the week been treating you so far? Hope that things are going well. Moment. Still so weirdly loud here. This thing. This is the culprit. Stop it. You're being noisy. Eh. Too dang noisy. Hold on. We're going to move somewhere where it's still some background noise, but it's a little bit more quiet, you know? Finally free from finals, right? To watch parkour. Hell yeah. Sorry, by the way, Jam Jam, that you have to be here without watching me murder monsters. I, uh... My brain is a little bit too foggy today to to be uh, to be doing that. You're close to the mall, Faith. Oh, oh, the mall! I didn't know I was going to the mall. But yeah, congratulations on finishing your finals. Fine, I was down for strim strim, regardless. I was just going off the announcement you made on Discord. That's fair. That's fair. I was supposed to do... I don't know. To quote uh, Limp Biscuit for a moment, uh, it's just one of those days where you don't want to wake up. <laughs> Everything is fucked. Okay, and the, set, the part after that doesn't count. Because that, that's not true. I don't think everybody sucks. <laughs> I love this game. It was one of the first games you ever played on your first PC. Nice, Orange! That's awesome! Yeah, I remember seeing this game. But I've been in college at that point, or was I still in high school? I don't remember, but I just remember seeing it and being just like, I want to play that. <laughs> and I did, and it was great. Dang it, where's a nice spot where it's not so loud? Because obviously we gotta do our, you know, hour and a bit of conversation prior to anything else, right? That's how this works. Okay, I'm starting to remember the controls again. Oh, we got pushed back a little bit. Okay, we didn't hit a checkpoint. Oh, okay, well, that's a good start. That's a really good start. <laughs> okay, good. One uh, one parkour, one hour, exactly. You hit something. Yeah, for some reason, the Faith decided not to grab onto the edge for whatever reason. But, you know, it's an interesting thought process. I don't know if it's good for self-preservation, but... What is that from? Oh, that's ASDF. Knock, knock, who's there? <laughs> the door! <laughs> so in this case, it's a uh, knock, knock, who's there? Splat. The floor! Oh, oh, cops! It's cops! of the cake too welcome to the real world jackass they bugged out you should 
should be able to get into the mall without being shot at. I hope that that's the uh, correct reference there, Orange. <laughs> I'm not just coming up with random bullshit on my own. Oi, I see you. I see you over there. Alright. Slide under even though we don't have to. Climb up here. Don't have to jump over there. Oh! <gasps> All right, up and over. Oh, that's not the way. Gotta be this. There we go. We know what we're doing. Oh no. Curses. We are trapped. My lord, I am here. Did anybody here play any of the Dynasty Warrior games? That's where my brain is at now, unfortunately. Has anybody here done the. Have played the wonders that is the Dynasty Warrior games? It's in all of their hack and slash glory that just became worse and worse over the years. I think number eight is literally you can spam, you know, like, your light attack. And you can just go through it. Oh, Bells, you're missing out. They're like, you know, like the hack and slash style, you know, like you're, it, uh, the Dynasty Warriors are, are um, the Romance of the Three Kingdoms, which is set in, like, earlier ages, uh, China. And, um, it's, it's very much the idea that, you know, like, when you first start, you can take on, like, maybe, like, five guys, uh, you know, like, five soldiers at a time and do it relatively easily. But by the time you get to, like, you've leveled up your character and get a bunch of items, you're taking on, like, legit, like, dozens and dozens sometimes over a hundred at a time and just cutting through them ridiculously yeah and there were like combos and all you know is don't pursue lubu yeah there's one of the missions i think it's um it's not hulao gate it was Ooh, what was the other place jam jam we need to go to the shame corner again because I can send you to the shame corner. Um, what the heck was it called? It's not Hulao Gate. So, well, there's another one. And when you open up the... It's essentially the situation where, like, the kingdoms are just about to take on the tyrant Dong Zhuo. And you have to basically charge into his, his, his city and deal with them. And when you get to the gate... Um, there's a cool cutscene where Louis, I think it's actually Louis Bu is how you're supposed to say it. There's, there's, there's like a, there's a, a special way of saying the first U or Lub, Louis Bu, something along those lines. And it, you know, he's supposed to be like this crazy powerful being. And, like, in the actual, like, history of the Romance of the Three Kingdoms, he was actually, like, um, he was, like, a dangerous guy. Like, he was one of those, like, naturally tall for the time, like, very strong characters. But in the game, he's, like, he's a menace. He had, like, everybody has, if you, if you think of it from a PS, a, a PlayStation controller, your, um, square button was your light attack and your triangle was your heavy attack. His regular heavy attack was a wind-up where he would, like, wind up and then stick his spear forward. And if it caught you, it would he would, like, impale you, lift you up. And then if you kept spamming it, you would just do this back-and-forth hack-and-slash. And if he caught you with that when you were a low level, when you were low level and low health, it was basically game over. Because he would just literally combo you into... 
That's exactly what I'm saying. Avatar, thank you. <laughs> but he was like a brutal individual. Like, whenever you did that mission, it was just like, oh god, we gotta get out of here. We talking Three Kingdoms? Yeah, we're talking about the Dynasty Warrior games. Welcome, not the big boss. Yeah, like, Lubu and, you know, like, what was it? Soon was the guy that I always liked. Soon Say? He's the one with the Tonfas, I believe. And he was. Yeah, no, it was just a really good game. But, like, in the fourth game, which was a PS2 game, I believe the fifth one was also a PS2 game. But the fourth one, you actually had to, like, do the combo. So if you did, like, two or three light attacks and then hit the heavy attack, you would do, like, you know, certain combos that. Um, depending on how much, you know, like some would be better for single target, some would be better for multi-target, etc. Um, some would be better for pushback. And um, <laughs> I'm not even going to try to read what you just wrote, not the big boss, because I'm going to butcher it. You know, as a European, <laughs> as the European boy, I'm not going to be able to read that properly. But then in like the later games, it was flat out like, because the thing was, your left attacks had a cut, or sorry, your light attacks had a combo. Like, it was up to, I think, seven attacks. And the seventh attack was a big smack. You know, like, and then the combo was over, and then you'd have to restart the combo. In seven, and I believe onward, you could just keep spamming left click, and it was so boring. Like, the combos looked nice because they flowed into each other really well animation-wise, but they were so boring because you could just stunlock opponents with your light attacks. And it was just like, well, this is dumb. In number four, you could stunlock people, but you had to, like, do it carefully. Like, you had to time your attacks and such. The game was being... <laughs> Which one specifically, not the big boss? Because I love number four. Number four was super fun. But that was, uh, that was, like, PlayStation 2, like, 2008. Something like that. I'm afraid to look it up because I can't alt-tab because this game doesn't like it when you alt-tab. And, uh, Jam Jam, what does that mean, by the way? All of them. <laughs> Why don't you like them? They're fun. Yeah, man, they're super fun. Hold on, I'm just doing a quick PlayStation 3 came up before time. So that's late. I it probably was earlier than Avatar. It was probably closer to like mid 2000s Hold on. Dynasty Maybe if I spelt it right. I don't even know where that B came from. Dynasty Warriors 4. Dynasty Warriors 4 came out in. You're not going to tell me. 2003. I was way off. Plus all the Dynasty Warriors games use like that fantastic like electric guitar. There's a bee kill it. Hey, Blue, how's it going? Those games were thumb breakers. Ah, uh, yeah, you just spam buttons. Spam, 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 spam. Yeah, they were, they were very much hack and slash. They were super fun, though. I remember my sister being like, can I play two? And I'm just like, sure, you can. Uh, but she wasn't very good at video games, so I was basically just like, all right, so you go there and just, like, hit guys. And she's like, okay. And then I'm like, all right, you go, I'll go over here and I'll do this. And she's like, okay. And then, like, she died of, like, basic enemies. <laughs> I can see the reasoning behind that, not the big boss. I personally love the heck out of them, but I love the story. Because I love just that stuff i love like the it's it's where i started learning more love for like how to say it for like storytelling you know the history of the three kingdoms is very interesting you know you got the sao sao and um 
uh, Sun Zhang, and who am I thinking of for the other? Liu Bei. Oh, it's not Liu. Oh no, it was Liu Bei. That's right. Welcome. Eekbot404, thank you very much for the follow. That's very appreciated. Like, just one of those. Love Three Kingdoms? Hell yeah, my dude. Just, it's just such a great and insane tale, you know, where you have all of these different characters, like uh, Shahodun, you know. Like, there's a great cutscene in, um... All right, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be Cao Cao, isn't it? It's not supposed to be Cao Cao? Because I know number four definitely was just, like, Cao Cao. And then uh, later I learned that it's Cao Cao. I think it's Cao Cao. So I was just like, oh, I, got, I don't know which one it is. I presume this is correct. Oh, thanks, Kazu. That's very appreciated. You have yourself a great day. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for a moment. But there's a great scene with this one character, which doesn't make sense because he already has an eye patch. But he gets, like, a fight. How to say it? He gets to a fight with some guys, and then he takes an arrow to the eye. And he's just like, ugh! And then he, like, grabs the arrow, and he pulls it out. And he, like, throws the arrow aside, and he's like, Soon, Cao Cao will bring light to this world. For that, I'll give him one eye. <laughs> Which again, doesn't make sense because he already has the eye patch because that's just part of this character model. But such a great scene because apparently in like the lore of the Three Kingdoms, he actually takes the arrow to the eye and to like show defiance to the enemy and to his loyalty to uh, to Cao Cao, he, he eats his own eye. That's like skewered on the arrow. <laughs> you know, because manly. <laughs> Which is that's alright? Exactly. He whoop, mate. Yeah. He takes an arrow to the eye in the middle of combat, and then in a proclamation for uh for his own loyalties towards his leader, he he eats his own eye. You know. The story's probably a little fabricated. Although it's super interesting because I ended up, like, diving into the actual lore. Flossie, hello! How's it going? Um, Shaho Dun, like, in the actual history, you know, like, in, in the game, he's very much portrayed as, like, this crazy, like, swordsman who just does all the smack dab and can take on, like, you know... What is it? Is he the Tiger of Zhang Dao? I can't remember if that's him. But... Like, really powerful fella. We can do Grinch. Hello there, uh, male pet. But apparently in, like, the actual history, um, I don't believe more stories during that time. It's not history rather than mythology. It is mythology, true. But apparently, um, Jaho Dun is actually the reason to, for stopping some famines, like, that seems a little bit more historically accurate from what I understand. Essentially, at one point, he started. He had a suspicion that there was going to be a lot of problems because of the war. Like, he, he realized that it was going to last a lot longer than he presumed. So, he ended up um, damming up a couple of rivers, which ended up causing a bunch of flooding. And because of the flooding, they could do... Uh, they could support more rice fields because of it. And those rice fields ended up, like, preventing some famines in the local area because of just, like, the, the bonus harvest that they were able to acquire from it. And I'm like, that's pretty freaking cool, actually. Like, I love shit like that. All right, we're going to try to put the Grinch thing on. I hope that this doesn't crash the program. If so, then we just have to start anew. It's got to be how it's got to be. Logistic tactics. Exactly. Oh, we actually got back in. Hell yeah. 
No, just stuff like that fascinates the heck out of me. Even if, like, 90% of it is tall tales, like... I'm pretty sure the majority of the characters did exist somehow. How far through Mirror's Edge am I at the moment? I'm not sure, Lossie. Probably about... Hmm... If I were to take a guess, somewhere between a third and halfway. I'm not that far. Well, Orange gets it. Thank you, Orange. I appreciate that. She's indoors. So far enough. <laughs> well, you know. By the way, uh, has the snow started in my area yet? Not yet. We're supposed to get hit by it in a few hours. We're supposed to, uh, we specifically are supposed to get rain first. Um, and then it's gonna flash freeze, and then we're gonna get, uh, like, I think we're supposed to get, like, 10 to 15 centimeters of snow in a couple of hours. Like, over the course of a few hours, and, like, oh no. Oh, that's bad. Why is her hands green? Why are you colored green? Oh dear. Oh, the slip and slide combo. Expect power outages then. Yeah, I've already filled up a couple of pop bottles. Like empty pop bottles with water just to make sure that I have it. <laughs> Get Grinched. I think, yeah, you're right. I turned put on the Grinch and now here we are. Everything else looks correct though. Hold on, let's move forward a little bit just to take a peek. Oh, uh, we fixed it. <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh... I'm supposed to visit family tomorrow for, uh, you know, like, early Christmas. And my mom messaged me just before stream, and she's just like, I just checked the weather. You are not coming to visit tomorrow. Like, do not do that to yourself and I'm just like okay you got enough firewood for a couple days hell yeah my dude good to see you prepping up for that stuff but there would be an elevator I'm not ready for the elevator yet I'm talking to chat elevator can wait nobody else is in this building anyway <laughs> have you been hit by it yet then not the big boss I hope not I mean, you're more east than I am, but you might be getting hit by something else. And also, how is everybody's... Uh, what's everybody's plans looking like when it comes to Christmas? Are you guys going to have a good time? Are you just going to hang out? But the wind is picking up. Yeah, we got a little bit of some... Some gusty wind earlier, but it calmed down a little bit again. Strimmin? <gasps> Are you doing a Christmas stream, Orange? Because I will absolutely be there if I can help it. Be in your streams trying to be as funny as you are. Because, let's be real, Orange. You have quite the good sense of humor. And I just can't keep up. But I'll try. <laughs> Put my best foot forward. Also, speaking of enjoyable and funny, um, at the moment, Pavlov is actually streaming, if any of you guys are following him. Um, you should, because he's currently playing Mass Effect 1 and getting drunk. So he is particularly talkative about every such topic that he would ever want to talk about. So <laughs> if you guys want to go take a peek at him, like I'll totally understand. He's very funny when he's drunk. The mass effect of alcohol. His literal stream name, I believe, is the, al the alcoholism arc. <laughs> Sounds like a Christmas party to me. Parents are going to do a Christmas party on the 14th, and I don't feel like coming, so I'm going to do the big chill. Hell yeah, Jim Jam. Have the good time. And if you want to keep people come, or if you want company, there's probably lots of streamers that are streaming that are gonna be, uh, that are gonna have a good time that day. So, I doubt you'll be starved for company. Also, yeah, 
I'll have to admit it. Geekbot404, you are indeed 200 in terms of follows. Thank you very much for bringing me to 200. I did not think that I would reach 200 this year. The fact that I am is mind-blowing. Gonna get turnt on eggnog. Blah. <laughs> I had a little bit of eggnog for the first time a few days ago, and it was, gosh dang it, Bells. It'd be amazing if you were 404. <laughs> that'd be the best, that'd be the best situation. I think 200 is pretty good. That's a pretty big milestone that you can proclaim. That was me. I did that. You haven't forgotten. I know you haven't. Meh. We'll do the karaoke stream on Saturday and then I'll just pray for a power outage. Eggnog is delicious. Uh, it was homemade eggnog and every time I took a sip I went because <laughs> the alcohol in it was pretty strong. ASMR Dutch karaoke. I don't even know any songs that I could sing. Ooh, voice crack. But, like, it was fine, Blue. Um, a little bit on the strong side. Not w It would definitely not be my first drink of choice. I would always go for a rum and coke. Especially a spiced rum and coke. Mm. I could drink those until I black out. Which I won't, because I'm a responsible drinker. I'm going to just hit the button here real quick and pretend like I didn't just say that. It's fine. It's fine, everybody. It's fine. Oh, this is where we were last time. There we go. This is where we made it because of the plastic. <gasps> Little rat. Gone. Just turn it into a just chat. We'll sing everything you say. Welcome. How is everybody doing today? Actually, last night, I was just singing... I, t I just had a little tune in my head, but um, I was just singing like a little thing, and then I realized that my neighbors could probably hear me, and it probably wouldn't have been a good song to sing, because it was just lyrics that I was making up, but it was the same line over and over again, and uh, they were very... Um, how to say this? They were very yeetus deletus. Uh, esque lyrics <laughs> and I realized like oh maybe I shouldn't be singing this especially like you know I, I like went to the bathroom was washing my hands and like the bathroom has like a vent that has a tendency to like carry a lot of sound so I was like oh maybe I shouldn't sing this maybe one of the neighbors will get worried and then I realized the neighbors don't care about me why would they? I'm just a guy on the other side of the wall. And that's why apartment buildings don't mean that you're... <sighs> What's the thought process I want to go for here? There's not a lot of sense of community in apartment buildings. There we go. You're among the walls. I'm inside the walls. Ooh. <laughs> I'm actually not streaming from my room. I'm streaming from within your walls. I mean, I don't care about my neighbors either. Yeah, Blue, I think there's other reasons for that, though. <laughs> Stitches, no! Geekbot404 is a good person. They are nice. <laughs> Although I will admit that when I first saw the name, I was just like, oh god, am I going to get a whole bunch of bot follows for a second now? But as soon as 
you said something, Geekbot. I was like, okay. Whew. <laughs> Uh, not to be NSFW, but the same guy who called me a twink wants me to be louder during the act. I was like, we have neighbors. He said, I don't care about my neighbors right now. Pardon? Dang it! Liar! I think it- Liar, have I been calling you Lear for a long period of time? Because now I don't know. And I don't even know if I'm saying it right. And now I'm panicking. Ah! And also, Jam Jam, I'm sorry to hear that. But also, you know, um, sometimes you gotta put on a show. Uh, fun story to connect to that once. Um, when I was in uh, living in low-income housing at one point. Uh, our, during the weekend, uh, there was neighbors across the street that were really noisy, and then our upstairs neighbors had a tendency to be relatively quiet, all things. My name is pronounced Liar. I'm sorry, Liar. I will... reach into the filing cabinet that is my brain and replace the file with the correct information. Um... And Murloc, hello! Edging some mirrors tonight, huh? You know what? It's a living. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we had, you know, it was like 3 a.m. Me, you know, I was trying to sleep, roommate was trying to sleep, and then our other roommate was trying to sleep. There were three of us in a two-bedroom apartment. And all of a sudden, you just start hearing upstairs, uh, and I'm like, no. And then you hear, ah, and it's like, oh no. And then I kind of like stepped out of my room and my both my other roommates had already stepped out of the room and we were all looking at each other. And you know, then you start hearing the bed springs a little bit and I'm just like, oh God, it just started. And my roommate's just like, hold on. I know how to fix this. And you know, it's like squeak, squeak, squeak. And then all of a sudden he just goes, she's faking it. <laughs> Dead silence. Didn't hear a peep from them for the rest of the night. <laughs> Absolute Chad moment. Yep. Just dead silence. And we're just, and he's just like, Ah, you're welcome. All right, night, guys. And just went back to his room. <laughs> I think that was the last time we ever heard from our neighbors. That was actually the same apartment. So some weekends, my roommates would go home. And there was our neighbor next door that had a piano. And they tried to practice their piano really quietly. And... Hey, Nevek, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. There was a neighbor next door who tried to play their piano really quietly, but they played such nice piano. Like, it was wonderful. So, one day, me with my little antisocial brain uh, wrote on a little piece of paper that was just like, Hey, I really like the way that you play the piano. Can you please play between like 2 and 3 p.m.? Uh, if it's possible on the weekends, because I can hear you best that way. And they actually started playing around 2 to 3 p.m., and it was, and like, it was just such a wonderful, it was like one of the, one of those, like, never ever met that neighbor, never talked to that neighbor, but got a chance to listen to their music, like, for a few weekends before I had to move. And I felt, and like, it, I had one of those moments too, where like, we moved and all of a sudden, like, you know, like I had settled in and all of a sudden I was like, oh, I never wrote them that I was moving, fuck! 
So I never know what happened to them. I never got a chance to talk to them about it. Or never got a chance to tell them, like, thank you for the music. And it, like, is one of those things that just, like, haunts me every now and then, you know? Like, you sit there, um... You sit, you sit there alone at night and all of a sudden you remember just, like... I never told that person that I was leaving, you know? I hope that their music is making someone else feel better. But knowing that neighborhood, most people were probably stomping on the floors and hitting the walls, telling them to shush. <laughs> Liar, why would you do that to me? I already feel so bad. <laughs> There was a lot of good stories from that apartment, though. Let's see. That was the apartment that I threw myself off a... Uh, I threw myself off the balcony. That was the apartment where we got the cops called on us because I kept climbing onto the balcony. Uh... <laughs> oh, jeez. First time living away from parents' places. Wild. You learn so many things. Well, I did what? Yeah. Well, there's a bunch of new people, so I think this story will still be entertaining to everybody. Also, uh, Geekbot, please know that this is not who I am. This is just a moment in my life since you're new here. <laughs> so, um, our, we were on, like, floor... You know, like 1.5, if that makes sense. Like, there was a a floor below us, but they were... Their first, like, three or four feet were, like, slightly below ground. So, like, our balcony was about... Like, six feet in the air. You know, from the, from the bottom. So, like, it was reachable. And, uh, you know, I used to play World of Warcraft a lot. So, back in the day... You know, uh, I have this wonderful thing that I still have where if things are going wrong when I'm playing with people, I blame myself internally. Like, it's always my fault no matter what happens. Um, so, we were doing a raid and things were not working. And they weren't working, and they weren't working, and we were on, like, our... <laughs> oh, that explains it. Thanks, Blue. <laughs> uh, so, we... I was getting madder and madder and madder at myself. You know, it was purely internal, just, like, because I was playing a healer. So, like, if I'm... If people are dying, that's on me, right? Even if the people are, are playing poorly, it's on me to keep them alive. So, finally, just in, like, this, like, angry, hyper-focus moment... You could see in, like, the healing numbers that I had freaking like, skyrocketed in that moment. And we managed to beat the boss. And everybody was... Like, you know, like, everybody in chat was just like, oh, shit, you know? And I think it was Ventrilo at the time was super hype. And I just remember being just so mad. Like, just so fired up. That I just, like, stood up, took my headphones off, walked over the balcony, and just jumped. Like, just threw myself off the side. <laughs> uh, and then I hit the ground, got up. Uh, it was grass, mind you, so I hit... Um, how to say it? I hit, you know, like, dirt... And then got up, walked around the street for about 10 minutes in bare feet, you know, over, like, pavement, and then walked back. <laughs> uh, stood on the edge of my, um, na or the downstairs neighbor's balcony, used that to climb back up onto our balcony, and then just walked back inside. And my roommates were just like, oh, hey, Will, welcome back. And they're just like, all right, Will's back, by the way. You'll be here in a few moments. So, like, I sat back down. You know, I put my headphones back on. I'm like, hey, guys. And they're just like, you jumped off your balcony. What the hell? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, it's fine. Let's just keep going. We're good. <laughs> Aren't healers sadists the wounds? Had to, the, the wounded had to be begged. Oh no, I give healing freely, don't worry. 
Hey, who sleeps throwing yourself out windows again? Not out of windows, out of a, off a balcony. It's different. I have fallen out of a window before. I was standing on a ledge because um, I wanted to see if I could uh, shimmy along it when I was younger. And then my friend gave me a little nudge and I just fell forward. <laughs> Don't worry, it was like an eight foot drop. I was like 10, you know. Bones are still soft. They can take the hit. <laughs> Look, I took a lot of close call injuries as a kid, okay? That's all th that's all there is to it. I did things as a kid that made sense to me as a kid with like ADHD who <laughs> didn't really understand what danger was. Like, when I was... Don't forget, like, I grew up on, like... Um, I grew up on, like, a dairy farm. Like, on a dairy farm, you take the... You take beatings from just everything. Like, animals and, you know, like, just wear and tear from having to push, the, like, heavy things and... Um, you know, like, occasionally things going awry, etc. A lot of injuries from, or borderline injuries from animals. Shows footage of Will beating, beating up gangs of small children. I would never do that, liar. I'm afraid and don't like children, so I would stay away from them. <laughs> Look, as I told the one story, I did have to smack that cow in the eye once, but it was the difference between... It was the difference between um, him being annoyed for a second or me having my ribs crushed. I had two options. Will, I almost got crushed by a cow. A balcony fall won't kill me. Sleep's not. Yeah, basically. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I did almost get crushed by a cow once. Um... I was helping my dad um, milk for the summer, and um, I was just under one of the cows, because, like, it's an electrical device. Like, you hang it up on a wire, and then it has a plug that you push into a slot, and when you do, it, it like, energizes the... Um, it energizes and adds suction to the machine, so then you put it under the cow. So you have to clean the udder first so that there's no you know, sicknesses of any sort, and, um, you know, then you, you, you put the thing on, and then afterwards you pull it back off again, and then you dip the, uh, the nipples with iodine so that they don't potentially get an infection. Well, I was under one of the cows cleaning, and my mom was pushing some feed, and I had just kind of semi-turned my back, but I was still squatting to the cow, and all of a sudden I just heard something, and I didn't know what the sound was, but I knew I needed to move, so I, like, combat rolled into the middle alleyway that was, like, between the areas where the cows were being milked. And just as I hit that cement, the cow dropped its full weight where I had just been sitting a second ago. Because for some reason it had gotten startled and had kicked its own legs out from under it, so it just fell. And that thing is, like, 1,200 pounds. That would have just basically landed on my head. <laughs> and it was just like, you know, I got up and was like, Whew. All right, girl. Come on. Get back up. We still got to milk you. Come on. Come on now. And she's just like, Murr. And it's just like, come on. You can do it. And she got back up again. And then I, you know, cleaned her up again. And then boom. Right back to work. I saw the story about the hollow lives. Vesper, who didn't realize uh, he was being stabbed, and I think he really set the tone for to. And I think that really set the tone for. <laughs> Dude, I have so many uh, stories. Like, I once we were. All right, this will be my last story because this one's a little bit more of just like. <sighs> don't tell me that. So I'll try to be a little bit gentle with it. But we had to break down this old shed. 
It was a pretty big shed. It was probably 12 feet by 12 feet, roughly. So, like, not an insignificantly sized shed. Eh, probably actually closer to, to 15. So, we had to break it down. So, you know, we had the skid steer. We um, kind of, like... We're just like, how the heck do we take the do? How the heck do we do the roof? So it's just like, oh, what if we just pull it the whole thing down? Because it was empty anyway. So we like hooked a chain to one of the walls and we just pulled it, and the roof somehow flipped over to, onto its side. So like, you know, the the bottom of the the inside of the roof was pointing upwards. So we're like, oh, okay, you know, we can just start pulling it apart like this because it was relatively easy to do from that point. But the way that they had put the, the, I guess, the shingles on it, they had just filled it with nails. Small nails, but big enough to protrude out of the wood about an inch. And there were a lot of them. And this is one of the few times in my life where while I was working, I tripped on something. And I tripped and fell onto the inside of that roof. And I landed. Um, so I landed in a position where, if you looked, my knees and feet were just between the nails where my elbows had landed and my arms were perfectly between a bunch of nails. There was a nail right between the gap between my ring finger and my middle finger of my left hand. There was one between my pinky and my ring finger of my right hand, like just missed them all, and my nose was resting on the on one of the middle beams with one of the nails about a half an inch from my eye. And I'm just like, Ooh <laughs> That could have been bad. <laughs> And then I got up and kept working. <laughs> Once we realized how much work that roof was going to be to tear apart, we ended up um, cutting it into three pieces, bringing it in onto a burn pile and just setting it on fire. <laughs> just like, yeah, this is too much work. The life in the barn, man. Yep. Yep. So Final Destination is a documentary after all. <laughs> so he basically lived through a movie scene where the helicopter blade stopped an inch away from the character's face. Very much so, yes. It's it's one of my... Um... <laughs> Will, buddy, do you want to... No, I didn't need a band-aid. I didn't get hit by any of the nails. I, like, snow-angeled between them all. <laughs> So I did slice my hand open once with, um, no, I said I was going to stop telling those stories. I have a lot of injuries. Premonition, exactly. Freaking, you know, whatever, you know, so how to say it, should there be some kind of spiritual be beings of any sort, they just, they guided my hands. What did you slice your hand on? Oh, I've sliced my hands open several times. Uh... The one time was on rusty, uh, what do you call it? Rusty barbed wire, which, you know, was also full of dirt, which you don't want to. Willow, how's it going? Exactly, tetanus, a lot of dirt, because the, the dirt is actually where the tetanus is. It's not so much the rust. And uh, so I sliced my finger open and then was like, oh, it's not bleeding that badly. I can keep working. You know, so I just kept... Yeah, rusty in the sense that, that it was buried in dirt for probably 15 years. So it was one of those, like, if you bent it the correct way, it would just kind of pop in, like, a dusty mist of rust. And I was like, oh, I can just keep working. It's fine. So I worked for 45 minutes. And then... uh. We made it back to the house, 
and I like looked at the wound and like you've had I'm sure everyone here has had a paper cut before you know you can see the little fold of the skin between that fold it was just full of little pebbles <laughs> so I was like well, that's probably not good I should take those out so I just bit them out <laughs> one by one very crunchy, very delicious. Yum, yum. <laughs> ah, the best part is, is this, this injury happened this year, I'm pretty sure. Earlier this year. What? Well, I poured, um, what do you call it? Hydrogen peroxide on it afterwards. Well, actually, no, I washed the wound. Realized it wasn't bleeding that much. Then, uh, like, it was basically good. Then I went back to the barn to help. And my sister's like, hey, so we need to put hydrogen peroxide on that. And I'm just like, oh, I guess. And, like, we use, like, actual, like, diluted hydrogen peroxide in the barn to help disinfect. So she just sprayed some on my hand. Anybody has ever felt the burn of um, iodine? The whole idea with iodine that I've always been told is count to ten and the pain is gone. You have to count out loud, and then the pain is gone. Hydrogen peroxide is count to 10, and the pain is gone for 10 seconds, and then it comes back with a vengeance. Quick question, how are you still alive? I don't know. <laughs> I ask myself that every now and then. Hydrogen peroxide hurts. Oh my god, did that, and that wound fizzed. Like, hydrogen peroxide, I believe if I understand correctly, it responds to certain cells. You, and the, it's one of the reasons why it's why it's good for a quick disinfectant, because it actually reacts to, like, illness. And once you do that, um, you know, it kind of kills it a little bit. I once jumped on a barbed wire fence when I was drunk before. Yeah, I landed on my crotch on the barbed wire fence. Good thing. No damage. Just some cuts. Whew, dude. Whew. Whew, I feel that. Oh, that's brutal. <laughs> that's very, very brutal. I don't want to tell the last story because that's the one that actually frightened me a little bit. <laughs> so instead, we're just going to keep playing the game. I hope everybody enjoyed story time. Oh. Well, this is ominous, isn't it? Oi! Bacteria don't respond well to oxygen. Your oxygen kills it by bursting their cell walls. Yeah, exactly. Okay, but have you used salt and lemon to disinfect a wound? I have used salt water before, and that shit also hurts. It was one of those, like, in a pinch, I had a bad cut and was just like, eh, I can mix this up really quickly, poor. <laughs> you can't tease the next story and then go on. I mean, I can, but it's really mean. Why are you seasoning your wound? I can't remember what it is, but, like, I'm pretty sure that sodium is, or, like, how to say it? Yeah. Salt is a way to disinfect a wound. That's horrific. No, 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 no. Jam, jam. What I have all said is nothing compared to what you just said. That's horrifying. We work with what we got. Exactly. Also, apparently, like, baking soda and water sometimes works, too. Supposedly, at least. I did it once with a really bad cut on my foot. Like, a really deep cut. I still have the scar. <laughs> I took rusty sheet metal to the foot because I was wearing flip-flops <laughs> or sandals. 
in a burn pile full of sheet metal. <laughs> Will you a masochist? I'm not a masochist. I'm not necessarily prone to injury, but not always aware of the dangers that I put myself in. Willie survives the C30. I mean, I'm 33, liar, so I've done good for myself, I think. You know, I've made progress. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got a little bit of a phlegmy throat today. Yeah, exactly. At this point, I'm probably living on borrowed time. What's next? Is syrup also a disinfectant? No, I feel like syrup would only make it worse. We'll stop being a punching bag for the world. You know what? Someone's got to do it, Blue. Someone needs to take the hit so that other people don't have to. <laughs> Correction, will he survive to see it? Ah, oh, I hope. Mm, I won't finish that sentence. You get to decide if I say so or not. <laughs> More dumb stories you used to do jackass stuff with my friends when you were in high school. Man, the stitches, I'm not surprised, but I, I'm glad that you made it through it. Like, I definitely... Uh, tried to not um, do anything like that. That just wasn't the thing that I was interested in. I was too place busy playing World of Warcraft, essentially. And other such video games. A space tool. Bell, sorry, I didn't see what you what you wrote. Can you say one more time what you said? I, it, it must have got caught off. Just turn off your pain inhibitors. Exactly. Oopsie doodle, I don't feel this. <laughs> oh, right, and there was the time that I did something to my ankle. No idea what, because I didn't go to the hospital. Who would do that? Free health care? Ha! <laughs> Don't need it. <gasps> knock, knock. Who's there? Not the big boss. Someone let that boy in. Let that guy in. Let him in. Let him in. Sand of the skin up with an orbital sand. That's pretty cool. I used to have calluses so bad that when they got itchy and annoying, I would literally carve them off my hand with a knife. <laughs> with just a pocket knife that I always had on hand. I actually still have it. It's actually on the other table in the in the dining room. Why? Because I'm fidgety. I like to fidget with things, you know? I'm the person who's constantly, like, scratching their nose or, you know, like, pulling on their beard or scratching their head. I don't know if you've ever seen... Oh, what the heck is his name? Not rare for people to self-medicate here. Uh, the knife or the skin? In which regard... I don't know what the question is. Oh my god, the knocking got me. <laughs> That's right. How is your time going, by the way, Avatar? Are you having a are you having a are you having a fun time? Which one of those do you still have on the counter? <laughs> uh what am I, freaking gold member? I like to keep this my skin chunks. No 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 no, it's my pocket knife. He's just one of those simple little flip knives. It's like has like a wooden handle and his uh the blade is about four inches long. You're a Dutch, you're halfway there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not flexible enough to put my both of my feet beside my own head though. He's making another will. 
Well, uh, why am I on the spot? I was just curious if you were having a good vacation. That's all I'm asking, Avatar. I'm sorry for putting you on the spot. It's not the intention. All right. All right. We got to make a little bit of progress here. You know how it is. One door, one hour. Not with that attitude. On a side note, having the viewer, the viewer count is always so fascinating because it's usually after topics like this that I'm just like, all right, that number's going to drop any second now. <laughs> just six. Just like, yep, you know, I did that to myself. That's on me. I've summoned them. You're welcome. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's just a, how to say it. it. It's it's just my um, how to say it. Not anxiety. I don't think the viewer count gives me anxiety. Honestly, looking at the viewer count and seeing anything above ten is mind blowing to me every time. Like you know, to be sappy for a second, because. You know, real talk for a moment. I'm a little bit uh, foggy-brained. Um, uh, to quote uh, Bob Ross for a second, there's lights and dark times. I'm waiting for my light time at the moment. So, like, seeing so many of you guys pop in here and being active and chatting and hopefully having a good time, it's, you know, it's nice. <laughs> it helps. <laughs> As much as I hate being vulnerable, I'm choosing to try and be vulnerable right now. Which, eh, I hate doing. <laughs> My favorite Bob Ross quote is just, <laughs> that's right. Just, uh, just smack away that brush. Just beat the devil right out of it. Mod check? Why, what are we checking mods for? <laughs> and thanks, liar. That's appreciated. Oh, I can? What? Am I allowed to go this way? <gasps> Secrets. Ah. Ow. <laughs> I don't understand what's happening with the mod check. There's mods here. There's one. I see one right now. It's bells. Is it supposed to be mood check? I don't know. I don't understand your internet lingo. As I'm googling mod check, just in case I'm doing something wrong. Mod check. Nope, it's worse. <laughs> it's a SpongeBob reference. <sighs> That's it. No more vulnerability. We're moving forward. That's what guys do. <laughs> it's what? It, it looked like it was a character from SpongeBob. That just, it's like one of the fish that like does like a look around. Slowly getting, the days are slowly getting brighter earlier. I hope the same for you, Will. That's very appreciated, Flossie. I'm just saying it because others are. <laughs> Don't you know the story of the monkeys and peer pressure? The first monkey f uh, d uh, fell out of the tree and died. The second monkey fell out of the tree. Or what is it? The first monkey died of a heart attack and fell out of the tree. The second monkey d died of a heart attack and fell out of the tree. The third monkey fell out of the tree and died because peer pressure. <laughs> Something like that. I don't quite remember. Ooh, boxes. I blame Will that you need to wake up at 7 a.m. and listen. Some nerds who tried tribal medicine. Uh... Still didn't even sing. I will sing semi soon, Willow. 
I'm at 200. I basically have to do a karaoke stream. If your peers start saying mod check, would you <laughs> mod check? If Millhouse jumped off a cliff, would you Millhouse jumped off a cliff? I'm there. You also have your kiss. <laughs> Dang it, liar. You're not the first person to say that, and so you won't be the last. All right. Action. Or not. Wait, how could I not just push this? Fine. I know that joke. Also, apologies for shopping and lurking. You're totally fine, Pom Pom. It's always appreciated to have to know that you're lurking here. Just like for everybody else. Rillburn was meant to be meeting his little friend in the atrium, right? Well, it should be just ahead of you. What? We're looking at their little friend. There they are. They're waiting for us. They're messing with us. Start the timer on the bomb. Huh? Damn, shatter's gone wild. Get out of there. Uh. Oh. Up, please. <laughs> Let's stay a little bit low. It's okay, chat. We're fine. I lowered the volume. Let me know if it's still really loud. Because it's probably still really loud. Sorry, Faith. Nothing about that on the wire. Probably still loud as, I, as heck, and I apologize. Climb up towards the upper levels. That's just so much SWAT for one person. Yeah, exactly. Get me up there. Oop. Can't silence guns volume a bit loud, but... Not your drumming will loud. Then I will reduce it by just a tiny bit. That should... Don't want you guys to be freaking... Because I'm still trying to figure out my audio. My audio is kind of my... That's where I need to go, eh? Audio is still probably my weakest point in terms of how well I can control my... My streams. Structures and maintenance areas at the top. There should be a way out up there. <laughs> Keep going. Hold on. Did you guys know that Flossie, that Flossie streams? Yes, Flossie streams. She reads books on stream, and she's a very, very has a very, very nice voice also. So if you guys haven't, uh, haven't you, or if you haven't, you guys should stop by and check out one of her streams and slam that follow button so uh, so as to get notified when she goes live again. Don't make me blush just before bed. But you have a great voice, Flossie. Your like your reading streams are wonderful. When you were reading Metamorphosis, I had things to do that day. And when I started listening, I was just like, well, you know what? We're going to just move those back. A we're going to move those uh, those things back a little bit. I think we're going to just go ahead and sit and listen instead. <laughs> All right. Oh, you guys can't be shooting me. All right. You think rope burn set you up? Probably. Getting. Oh, come on. Get higher, Faith. What? But that's what I'm trying to do. Thank you. You also had stuff to do. <laughs> See? We were all in the same boat. <gasps> a rat! Run, buddy! No sign of Roger. Proceed to lockdown area. Oh no. Uh. Power button. I know that thing will kill me if I don't wait. Happy as a turtle in mud. Not that way.
Well, I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go now. Why is that big cockroach in the bed? Because he was sleeping. Okay, well, clearly I'm supposed to go this way. Or... Take me alive, coppers! I know it's up that way. I just don't remember where. Is it over here? Here's where it is. I'm not leaving the gun! Stay low for a second. We need to breathe. Hold on. This is a part of the game that I remember because I was really bad at this moment for some reason. All right. Everybody ready? We're about to do some parkour. Some hardcore parkour. No gun left. No guns left behind. <laughs> just Faith with just a bag of like 30 guns. Just literally they're shooting because they're vibrating in the bag so much because she's running. All right. Here we go. That way. Perfect. Posture check. Thank you, Disco. Posture has been checked. I am now sitting way better than I was before. Say okay, so we're not gonna do that jump. All right, there's the door. Looks like my little friend is back. Think he's the assassin? I don't know, but I think I know someone who does. I think I know someone who does. <sighs> Ooh, cutscene. Oh, this jackass again. Yeah, get heck, nerd. Hey, Faithy. Nice of you to drop by. With a little bit of persuasion, your friend was pretty chatty. Told me about his meeting with Pope's killer at the mall. And you're thanking me, right? So when I got there, guess who was waiting for me? No idea, Faithy. I just go there for the pretzel. Yeah, I'm sure. Bad case of the blues. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? No, Faithy. It wasn't me. Besides, if I wanted you dead, don't you think I would have just killed you myself? You're right. A creep like you couldn't have organized it. Now, don't be like that. <coughs> Your friend's dead. I'm impressed. It wasn't me. You need to be careful who you hang around with. <laughs> I learned that a long time ago. Apologies, this is probably really quiet for you guys. But I'm afraid I'm going to have to cut this little meeting short, Faithy. Places to be, you know how it is. Try not to get yourself killed. Uh, Merc, you can stop pretending not to listen now. <laughs> What's up? Can you do a search on Pirandello Kruger security? On it. Why do you ask? Been seeing their name around. In Ropeburn's office and somewhere else. Distinctive logo. Getting anything? Mm, just what you'd expect. Alarms, fencing, armored cars, private security. Oh, and they secure our world, apparently. Where are they based? She offices around town. Just got a new place down near the docks. Get me some coordinates. I'm gonna go check it out. 
Sorry, I like cutscenes, so I tend to go quiet for them. Apologies. Have a good lurk, Flossie. I think you said you have sleepy time, so in, in that case, enjoy your rest. Head toward the building with the big stupid dog symbol. Loading bay should be away. With in. the big stupid dogs. <sighs> we don't like dog symbols around here. Dog symbols. Thief isn't really a parkour game, though. Um, although, I guess I haven't played more than first one, so maybe I'm wrong. Liar, was the first Thief game any good? Like, the old Thief game? I tried to play the Thief remake or whatever that came out a while ago, and I didn't really like it that much. <laughs> I don't like this guy. I think you love this guy, Blue. He'd call you, like, Bluey. Because <laughs> he just puts Y at the end of everybody's name. You know, Faithy. Bluey. Avatari. Flossy. <laughs> Willowy. <laughs> Hyacinthy. <laughs> hey, hi, how's it going? Jam Jammy. There you go. How you doing, Haya? How are things? Well, that's embarrassing. This time. Nope. Not this time. Nope. Oh, not that time either, eh? <laughs> Alright, game. Thanks. Oh no, everyone's yelling. Oh yeah, doing my part to boost the Benjamin. Oh, that's right. The new commitment for the year. Oh my goodness. Irking me to no end. Can't run up that. Not stupid. I mean, I am a bit stupid. Not that stupid. Nailed it. Don't worry, guys. I'm so smart. All right. I need to take a quick little break because I need to fill my tea. <gasps> Speaking of which, wait, hold on. Oh, no. Bells. Bells, what do I do? Will a sleep vampire? He can't sleep himself. <laughs> Bells, what do I do? My tea is cold. Oh, <laughs> no. No, you're right. I'll just drink it. All right, here we go. <laughs> Yum. But what heresy? <laughs> what heresy is microwave tea? That's what puts hairs on your chest, right? Need to go do some things, but you'll be back later. Good luck with Mirror's Edge. And thank you, Liar, for stopping by. It's always great to have you here. I hope that whatever you're doing goes smoothly and without any irritations, should there even be the potential for that. It's legal to microwave tea and to reheat it. Mm -mm. Your model looks so in pain doing that. <laughs> but I need to take a quick break because I need to go and refill my drinks. So, I will be back in a little bit. So, we need to do our little, we need to do our speech. You guys know the one, but in case you don't, if you can and are able to, I hope that you get up and stretch, grab yourself something to eat, grab yourself something to drink. Make sure that you guys are taking care of yourselves, please and or thank you. And I will be back in five to ten minutes. I will see you guys very soon. Oh, also bells, no shrimp sitting. Uh, just thought I would also mention that.
back did i crash the game i probably crashed the game oh goodness what the heck is happening ah! <laughs> well bad news everybody crash the game which was to be expected so we're gonna have to you open it which is okay 
And thank you, Blue, for the welcomes back. And no, a shrimp sitting is, uh, should be delegalized. It should be incriminated. All tabbing is illegal in some game. Netman X gets it. Just sometimes it's like, no, 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 no. You not do that. And that's okay. Noise! No matter what you do, that intro cannot be silenced. It's a dang shame, but it is how it is. And thank you, Bells, and thank you, Willow, and thank you... I feel like I'm... Oh. <gasps> Pavlov, you're not supposed to be done streaming yet. I'm supposed to raid you. I'm not thinking anything else. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Head toward the building with the big stupid dog symbol. For the big Only stupid dog symbol. For those of you who are not following Pavlov, by the way, you should. He is currently very drunk. And is probably having a really good time. <laughs> Assuming he's even playing Mass Effect anymore. <laughs> it's not the first time he's ignoring me. I'm sorry. This is a darn coup. Hold on. Wait. This is a darn coup. He's acting like nothing's happening. I missed some of the messages. I'm sorry. You're looking at Throne. Uh, Kenji is shaming you for having two items on it. Didn't you have, like, a, I have $100. I'm going to spend it on Throne today. Or no, it wasn't on Throne. It was on Amazon. Live it up, buddy. He's living it up. Look how much he's living it up. He is wooing. Yeah, but I forgot to do <laughs> Fair enough, fair enough. In that case, have a great time looking up things to add to your throne. You can always put stuff that, uh, um, that, like, you and Lunella can enjoy. Or maybe something for the cats or the dog. You know, there's lots of options that you've got, so... By the way, I don't know right now if Pavlov has one of his cats on his cam, but uh, for those who likes, who like cats, you should go check him out. He's got a cam on the cat, right? Or he's got a cam on semi on himself and semi on a cat bed. There might be a cat on there right now. I'm just saying. All right, we're going places. Cats, you say? I do say. Oh. Uh... Missed! Yeah. <laughs> ooh, ah, ooh, ah. I'm trying to call them, but they're not coming. What a bunch of... What a bunch of cats! <laughs> Will has superpowers, I don't. Streams... Uh, streaming while other people are streaming. Oh, this is... I figured it out. There we go. And shift. Uh, this is fine. Can we land on there? Well, can I borrow Benjamin for a little? No, you lead him. Oh. Game, don't do this to me. I have height fears. I know it wants me to jump, but I don't know if I can make that jump. We're going this way instead. This makes more sense to me. Shift. Okay, but it's safe to fall down here. Ooh. Okay, we found pipes. But you're hangy. Well, if there is bread in the home, you could make yourself a sandwich. Imagine the possibilities. Benjamin is simply just toast. That's all he is. He is just bread in its purest bread form. 
You brat. You bratty game, you. Really? All the way back here? This is the mission that punishes you, eh? Eating willow is illegal. Weren't you guys just starting a coup against me for not letting shrimp sitting be a thing? Oh. Uh, the game is a brat. You can't tell me that I'm wrong, Avatar. You know? I can kink shame this game all I want. And I'm gonna. See, I'm doing it right now. Kink shaming. I can't start... I can't start a coup. I'm not a bird. Well, Dorn, you know what? I still have faith in your abilities to try. That's where we need to go. Did it. Also, hello, Dorn. How are you? Come on, grab the thing. Thank you. <laughs> Haya will start the coup. Behold. The coup powers. <laughs> it's all going to heck. Military coup. Now all I just see is like a bunch of pigeons with helmets on. And they're all just like, coo. That's what he said, but Dorn's new avatar uh, is just a hyper-realistic render of a bitch. <laughs> Careful, they could... Careful, they could... Oh dear. Elvis Presley uh, can start a coup. And you can be Elvis Presley, so... Oh, now we're seeing things. Oi, 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 what's this? Oi, oi, oi. That's it. That's all I know. That's as far as it goes. Oh. That's nice. Oh no, Pavlov's found the throne that has nothing on it. <laughs> yeah. Open! Damn it, will you have nothing on here? It's true! I, I don't know what to... Put on there. I had one thing and Dorn bought it for me. <laughs> and then I felt bad, so I didn't put anything else on there. <laughs> Dorn tends to do that. He does. Whoops, my bad. Oh, sorry. No, it wasn't Dorn. It was anonymous. Wink. Speaking of which, uh, Dorn, I don't think I ever mentioned, but... Uh, Anonymous is the reason that my character moves a lot better, because that camera is wonderful. At Thermos Tormenty, someone suggested someone suggests that. Yep, everyone's saying it. Everyone's just like the tea situation, and I'm just like, maybe I like suffering from the cold tea, you know? Ugh. Didn't know I was helping friends be whiny boo boos. No. There's no run around here. Just pitch. Take it up with command, Gamma. Stay sharp. Wait, can I just assassinate this guy? Oh! Yeet! So you can't look down the sights. Please don't hate me. I'm drinking. <laughs> the fuck? I don't want to be. Oh so my god! I'm advertising Will's stream. <laughs> yeah. Eat bullets. <laughs> oh shit! I hit him. I fucking hit him. There's no. <laughs> See where the bullets are landing. 
Oh crap, that's the end of that, okay. Oh my god. Heck. Amazing. You need to do a 360. It's true, you're right. I'm being silly right now. Yeah, go, go, go. How about you? Go, go. Gadget. Get hacked. Let's go. Drop me. Yeah, boom. Smackarinos. Where's your friend? Oh, that your friend? No, no more. What now? I'm Faith. And by that I mean, I'm a crusader. And I'm on a mission. To stomp out these bad guys. Wait. I didn't know that there were explosive barrels in this game. Go, go, gadget. Violence! I don't think there's anybody else. Dang it. Well, here we go. Just shooting at a barrel from the hip. I'm doing the right thing. That's all I have to say. I don't have to justify my actions. I just have to do those actions properly. There we go. That was smoothish. Really looks like I need to do that. Ah. There we go. Are you shooting people? You should get your message across by running and jumping. No need for violence. Make peace and the parkour. Nope, I did the right thing. I did it right. chose violence. I did the right thing. I did the right thing. Dang it. How the heck do I get back up again? Oh. Button. Hello? Oh, Jesus. Hi, friend. Well, he murdered me just as I got there. <laughs> Avatar knows what I'm talking about. I think Blue might as well. All right, this time I got it. Oop. I'm here. Oh, bad timing. Bad, there. Oh, 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 get fricked. Oh dear. Can't pick that one up, eh? Well. No, I had to seeing the anime. Beat him up. Make friends with him. Beat him up first. Make friends with him after. Exactly. Friendship failed. Thanks, Haya. <laughs> I just sitting here, just like I thought you were friendly, Will. I didn't think you were bad at making friends. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm so bad at making friends. Hell yeah. Let's go. Looks like PK has her offices somewhere ahead. <laughs> Guns win, exactly. Where I need to be? Where you want me to be? Game? Okay, I was about to say, if you don't grab onto that ledge, I'm going to be just a tad bit mad. Wow. They do not care about keeping their place secure, eh? You still have time before the end of the year. When's the... Here comes the sun cover. Oh, God. Never. Meg. Milton. Someone claiming to be your brother called, calling himself the janitor or something. Uh, wanted to talk about a diploma. Seemed a bit nuts. Owen. Owen to what? This coffee's still warm! 
What's the sun? No such thing. Use the power of, use the magic of friendship and this gun I found. Oh God, Lear. You know he's in the chat, right? He can hear you. Counter up. I don't want to go. Just in case there's something here. I'm missing. Nope, nothing special. <laughs> Okay, I see. I'm here come to the sun. There you go. The sun cover. I here come to the sun. There you go. Avatar gets it. He knows what's up. According to the plan, there should be a way through beyond the conveyor system in there. Heck, are even in these boxes? Sorry, Will, just messing. <laughs> What's a leer? I only see a liar. Did I say leer again? Oh my god, I'm sorry, liar. I swear I'll get it right one of these days. This is just Spencer all over again. Where, um, I would keep calling him Spectre. And it took me, like, six streams to, like, lock that into my brain. <laughs> I st now it's not so much that I call him Spencer, is that I see his name, read Spectre, and my brain overrides it with, like, you know, like a, like a secondary command. I swear to God, if you talk to me like that again, Merc, I'm gonna yell at you. I'm talking to my chat. They're more important than you. Doors open. What? Kicked open the door. Can't go to the next one. <gasps> oh, that's what you're saying, yeah. See is der hellste Sterfan allen. Of men here van himmel fallen. I believe that is roughly how it goes. I might be fidgeting it a bit, fumbling it a little bit. Oh, there is just a way up this way. <laughs> Silly me. Ah. Chad, I think Will likes this. What do you mean? I never said that. B -b -b Baka. <laughs> I deserve that. <laughs> Arguably no more words of that song than me. Uh, it's only because I listened to it a heck ton. I don't think I actually pronounce a lot of it properly. But I do like the song. Did you just b, -b, -b baka No, I did not just b, -b, -b baka You're hearing things, you silly, silly boy. Nope. Ow. <laughs> It's time to <laughs> duel. Okay, what am I doing wrong here? There's a way up somewhere. I need to get up. Now, how do I get up there? That. Doesn't even look like there's a way in from this side. So, oh, jumping stuff. Okay. Uh, up. There. Get from there. Get from there. I can't climb up here, can I? I can! <laughs> ah, when you roll a wisdom class. It's not about the intellect. Nay, nay. It's just about eventually putting the pieces together. Ah, we in it to win it now, boys. Ring, ring, it's me, I'm in. Oh, one waiting message. Can I, can I listen to that? Oh, I can. Who do you pick up? Had a break in earlier. And you're a guy who let him get away. Back in the first thoughts, huh? Don't think I ain't gonna let him know. Amateurs. Oh, we're sorry, sir. Yeah, 
that's the button I need to click. It means I want to make sure that I've checked everything first. That just lets us back over there. My desk has no pathetic bakas. Kaiba, my turn. I summon mostly <laughs> not in defense mode. Every turn that passes, one of your monsters will be translated into Dutch. <laughs> <sighs> like he's got the whole like dramatic anime like no it can't be beep <gasps> we get to ride the conveyor belts do we get to do a an ennui Yeah, try and stop me, nerds. You can't. Wow, the way that he infle fl the influx of his voice, um, you know, just you must be getting close to PK Central by now. An ennui. Yeah, you know, you're on the conveyor belt and you're going we. Therefore, an ennui. Checkmate English language. <laughs> Pathetic, Yugi. I know 209 languages because I'm a super, I'm a super billionaire guy. Even Dutch. That may be true, uh, 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 that may be true, Kaiba, but not freaky dicky Dutch. Ah! <laughs> Should be somewhere below you. Below me? Shoot to kill? Shoot to kill! <laughs> oh, that was kind of a disappointing landing. <laughs> Wait, even go? I can't even go this way. They're giving me all the hints, and I'm not taking the hints. Wait! Oh no! Oh no! We're back here! <laughs> Hold on. Ladder. All right. Great start. Let's get back up there for a second. Why would you let me? No reason to be here. Here. Go back up that way. Woo. Accidentally did a heckin' click. Alright, go this way. Ladder! I'm so clever, guys. I'm the most cleverest. Of all the clevers in the world, I am the most. And I will not accept Here any comes other answer. Ah, Engelse Grips O O O O O. Thank you very much for the subscription, uh, everyone. It's very kind of you. Welcome, welcome. I hope that you're doing well. How was your last stream, by the way? I unfortunately could not really... Oh... I couldn't get a chance to stick around, but I did get a chance to, to do the lurky lurks. Heat! Oh, I hate it! Line her up. A little this way. Uh, it's probably not going to be good. I'm sorry, chat, if I miss it. No worries, all good. That's right, you gave out some free sub stuffs. Sorry, just doing a quick scan. I think. I'm supposed to go here? No. I am. Elevator controls. Oh man, what is this? Hey man! Yeah, I know. I just don't really give a shit anymore. That asshole has been on my case since I started here. I think it might have something to do with my aunt uh, Libby holding that free speech, free speech blah 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 rally last year, and now he thinks I'm one of their airhead liberals. The liberals <laughs> coming in and stealing our pancakes. Wow! 
Oh, it was a little early on that. That's my bad. I don't have a problem with being checked on. I got nothing to hide, so I have. Uh, so I'm just petty. I just pity the douche that has to sit and monitor what porn sites I visit. Jesus Christ, just admits to it. Not our pancakes, right? Uh, uh but uh whatever I'm qu but whatever I'm quitting anyway can get uh, got myself a cozy government contract job running a crane for uh Callahan over at Riding Park so I uh, just going to pop down to HR real quick and give them the good news I just uh got a no I just got a note telling me that they want to talk to me about something too. Maybe a promotion. LOL. And yes! A thousand times yes. I thought I was the only one. Will you stop for a second? I'm trying to read this person. This thing that this person is saying. Uh, only one noticing, but yeah, this place has gotten so weird. I'm not even sure it's a legal operation anymore since that douchebag wrestler br uh, bought it. I mean... What the hell are we supposed to produce here? The first thing they did was get rid of all the machines and equipment that can actually do something. And now all we do is move boxes around. Not to mention that big ass supervillain logo they are they are putting on everything. Double Oh my god, it actually is written WTF. Jesus, who does that? WTF. I tried asking uh, Owen about it uh, last week, but he just told me to mind my own business. So that's what I'm doing, and I'm not looking back. I'll try my best to see if I can get you hooked up at my new place. The pay is good, and the benefits are totally awesome. The missus uh, is well happy. Well, time to go home. Been idling for two hours playing Tales of Rune World. <laughs> So I'm about ready to punch out. Hee <laughs> hee. I just hope no one reads this or I'll be uh, or I'll be in big trouble. Haha. Uh -huh. What are they going to do? I'm quitting anyway. Uh, it's not like they can tie me to a chair and beat me up for quitting my job. Winky face. See ya, Mark. Are we going to find a man somewhere? Just like tied to a chair. <gasps> uh, strope waffle. Like, sorry, I'm I'm Roman because a part of me wants to find a man just tied to a freaking chair, just beat up, you know? Just like, yeah, it actually happened. Wait, I didn't hit the button yet. Also, sorry. Hold on, let me read that really quickly. What I've all missed. The strope sta uh, sounds like an evil super <laughs> mafia boss name. There's a French rap gang called Stroop Flip, and they talk a lot about a thing called the Stroop. Stroop. Now do the seduct. It. No, I don't have that redeem yet, Blue. I was supposed to actually do that, and I forgot, and that's my bad. Oh, goodbye. Um. <gasps> no, what? What? No, go down. Let go of it. Hey, drop it. That seems like a, a legal issue. Won't talk. Nothing we do phases him. Very well. We'll make him talk with Strope Waffle. <laughs> hey, I can't. Oh. Oh, wait. That camera's already looking at me. Never mind. We've already been caught a long while ago. This place is creepy. It's really bright, but in like the worst way. Oop. Up we 
go. Be starting a 500 kilometer five day ri uh, ride on Christmas Eve. Dang, dude. He's doing the stretches now. Dude, congratulations. I'm so glad that you're getting back into it. Uh oh. Jackpot. <gasps> I think I found the nerve center. Mark. Could be some kind of training room. Drake. What are they training them for? You mean there's something left in this city they haven't managed to tax, ban, or regulate? Oh, God. What the hell's left, huh? Us. Merc, get your gun. You know, that's never too far away. Why? This... this training, Merc. This Project Icarus, Pirandello Kruger, they're not here to bolster the police. They're being trained to come after us. After the runners. All the runners. Everything okay up there? Quite as grave, just me. Birds and the best black market surveillance equipment money can buy. It's him. Him? The guy I saw at the mall. I've seen him on a camera, on the deck of a boat at the dock. Look, Faith, you've done enough. Right now, team, you're sitting in the lion's nest. So please, all ass out of there. Oh, we're doing a climbing section again. Chatter's gone berserk. Blues know you're there. Get out now. What the heck? What? <gasps> oh, these are anti freaking runners. Oh god. <sighs> oh, they sound like they're right on my heels. Not a fan of that. No, no. Nope. Heck. Ugh. Chatter's gone berserk. Ah. Just know you're there. Get out now. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm hacked. One second, Chad. I'm sorry. I can't read for a second. More of them. Ugh. There's the exit. We just gotta keep going. Oh, I don't like it. Gotta get going. Jam Jam, you have yourself a great night. Thank you so much for stopping by. Sorry for taking a second to respond. Ah! Mending Grandma's clothes so gonna lurk. Ah! Thank you for the bits. Oh god. Oh, they're like right there. Oh god, they're gonna make that jump. Oh, they make that jump real easily. Hey buds. You get out of here. Don't mess around with them, just run. What do you think I'm trying to do, nerd? There's some train tracks up ahead of you. Could be a way out. What? I hit jump! I hit jump! I hit jump. Sorry, chat. I'll get it this time. Ugh. There's some train tracks up ahead of you. All right, Could space bar. Jump. Roll. Oh, slide works too. I'm okay with slide. Slide. You by the tracks? Hitch a ride, girl. Girl. Nice work. Look, I'm gonna try and get the word out on the network about Icarus and warn the other runners. Do it. I'm going after that guy. Going after that guy.
just the ability to endlessly run. Now don't go just charging in there recklessly, kiddo. That's Pope's killer, Mac. Yeah, well, there might be more heat out there. It's too risky to try to get to the boat by foot. You'll be spotted for sure. There must be some way to slip in undercover. All right. Ladies and gentlemen. What? I believe this is where we are going to tap for the evening. The speed that we're going at right now, I think we might actually have be, be beating this game in the next two streams. Like time for a little stowaway action, Faith. Quick, before it goes. Wah! Wah! Yep, I tried. I'm sorry, Avatar. I'm too quick on the draw. But, again, I super appreciate everybody being here. It's been very fun. <gasps> Liar, how could you? <laughs> I thought we were friends. <gasps> uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I expected this from Bells. Hmm. Okay. We actually have a few options today, so we're going to give you guys the choice. Tell us where we're going. Thank you very much for the gift, Subdorn. Liar, enjoy. Uh, or what was the last one again? Is it an email? And doop. Please. Give us the choice, or give us the direction that this stream is going to go. Obviously, uh, at the end of the day, I want to make sure we're going somewhere that you guys want to go. You'll have to vote, Dorn. This is a democracy. Ah, oh, but man, I forgot how good, I keep, I always forget how good Mirror's Edge is until we're playing it, and then I'm like, ah, I love this game so much. I'm so glad that I'm able to, to share it with you guys. <laughs> I love democracy. So this is how democracy, di democracy dies, with thunderous applause. And also thank you for the hydrate, Disco. Very appreciated. You. <sighs> At least it's tied. Yep, means it's a dice roll. Let's go. Since when is there a democracy here? You just had it. You just chose not to have us go in one of the directions. You tried for a three-way tie, but I wasn't fast enough. Literally saved a vote for the last second. You guys are absolute demons. Where's my four-sided dice? You voted for Mass Effect. Feels bad, man. You gave it a try, Blue. We appreciate your efforts. Wait. Now I'm having a momentary moment of self-consciousness. I can't remember if I proclaimed that I was going to raid Pavlov. I don't want it to, to seem like I was just like, definitely going to do it, and then just don't. I don't think that's... I don't think that's what I said, but I can't remember, and now I'm paranoid. Did at one point. Heck and heck. Okay, well then we have to raid Pavlov because I don't like I don't like proclaiming stuff like that and then being a liar. You guys gave it a tie anyway, so it's fine. Lolful, hello. If you had messaged before, by the way, I super apologize for missing it. Nah, we're going to Pavlov. Sorry for giving a false 
a false choice there that was cruel of me. But it's it's unfair for me to proclaim while he's even here that I'm going to raid him and then don't raid him. That would be very unreasonable. I just showed people something that thought it was interesting. That's 10 years old. How do I cope with being old? You get coped by being raided, Pavlov. That's how. Guys, thank you so much for sticking around. It, even during a, a, a day like this when people are being super interactive definitely helps me a lot. And I super appreciate that. I think more than you guys can know. Edgy will. <laughs> Guys, be prepared. Pavlov's a little bit drunk, but we're still going to go and have a good time over there. Everyone, thank you very much for talking or being here, whether you were chatting, whether you were lurking, whether you just came in and out for just a second. Know that you are super appreciated. I hope that you're having a great day, afternoon, evening, or night, whatever time it might happen to be for you. I hope that you're taking care of yourselves. I hope that you're drinking plenty of water. And when you finally do sleep, whatever time it might happen to be for you, I hope that you have a very restful sleep. See you guys over at Pavlov's, and I will see you guys hopefully Saturday, depending on the weather. I might not have power, so we'll see. Otherwise, I'll see you guys on Saturday, and if not, I'll see you next time. Later, everybody.